Right guys, so basically I got this uh, Zen book. Um, I think it's a duo. And well, you know, I'm just watching a few videos because basically I'm doing this. Um, I'm doing this. Uh, let's see, which one is this one? Switch account. Okay, which one is this one? No, you know, I've got, I'm just looking at these at the moment. They're the bottom of the screen, yes, uh, the dual screen. And basically, uh, I only got this like yesterday. So I've been, I've been looking at it. I've been trying to do things with it. And I'm trying, well, I'm cloning the disc right now. So I am cloning the disc. I'm cloning the disc and uh, basically, um, I, I don't know what else to say. It's, it's basically, I'm just uh, cloning the disc at the moment and I'm trying to make a copy of this uh, because, right, because I'm cloning the disc because every time when I update this to, um, it's on Windows 11. But every time when I update it, right, it, it does this weird, um, it kind of, I don't know what to call it. It's, um, every time I update this, um, the Duo, uh, this laptop thing that I'm talking about, every time I try to update this, it would, um, it, it does this weird thing with the mouse where it makes the mouse go all weird on the screen. Like you see now, I have functionality, like I can control the mouse, you understand. But once I update this on the Windows 11, it's Windows uh, 11 updates. That's what I'm talking about. So basically, if I updated this right now, it messes up my mouse. I don't know how else to say that in a, in a better way. But that's that's the actual truth about it. It's like, I don't, I don't know why that happens. Uh, the mouse, um, the mouse I'm talking about, I'm not going up or down. I just need to switch this account because it's the other one. Oh, it needs me to add the other account. Sorry. So basically, guys, so this is a duo. And what I'm talking about is I'm cloning a drive. Right. Um, this is the Intel i7-1195 uh, G7. So it's the Evo. It's the, um, it's the Evo... Um, Intel i7 is the one with the Intel I Iris XC graphics. Uh, it's got the Intel uh, Iris XC graphics. It's got two Thunderbolt 4 ports. It's um, sorry, I'm just because iPad in my hands. <laughs> sorry about that. Um, so it's got two Thunderbolt ports. It's got I'm trying to remember the thing. It's got two Thunderbolt ports right i don't know why it was asking me this thing no it's it's asking me something to, about uh, windows hello so i think it uses the um, it uses this uh thingy all right this is the wrong password um it uses this um it uses uh two screens so the top screen is the main screen which i like quite well quite a lot and then the second screen, sorry, I just need to sign in. I don't know why it does this every time. I get bored of this signing in stuff. I mean, okay, it's it's there for security, but why do you need to ask me all the time? You know one thing, I'm logged in. I'm logged in to, to, the, to Google, isn't it? So if you're logged into Google, it's just, it would make more sense if it knew what I was doing. You understand what I mean? What's the point of asking me every time to 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 this? Um, what I'm trying to say is, why can't it be like Apple, whereby you sign in once and all your all your stuff, like everything you've got on Apple, just works? You understand what I mean? Whereas with this thing, it's it's constant, constantly asking you, uh, do you want to log in? Okay, you're logging in from this thing. You need to put in your password, and I'm like, why do you need to do that every time? It it gets boring. All right, um, the, the one thing I do like about the Duo is the fact that with the double screen, with the dual screen, you can actually put 
up to three apps, three different applications at the bottom. So right here is a, a perfect example. So I'm actually using, this is, um, I think that's, um, uh, that's my, that's Edge and this is Chrome. So that's two browsers, <laughs> two browsers running side by side. And I'm, I'm, and I can control both of them separately. And I'm doing that off on a screen that is separate from the main screen, which is the, the top screen is the one that I'm using to clone the drive. Uh, if you're asking me like, why am I cloning the drive? Oh my God, it gave me an error. I don't know why it's doing this. It's, you, you know, what's strange, right? I'll show you what I'm doing. So it's saying clone, uh, clone failed error nine. Um, it's saying read failed 21. The device uh, is not ready. So I, I don't understand because I have the, I'm using uh, the external. You see, that's the external. This thing here, that's the external uh, SSD. It's an SSD. I did a clone already of this drive. So let me show you what it looks like. Uh, if I can get into the drive. You know what I think is going on? I think what is happening is this is a, a program or a system uh, that uh, allows you to clone drives. But um, you know what? Let me close it and reopen it again. So I'm going to open. Oh, these are games that I've installed on my Duo. I've put in Cursed, uh, Empty Shell Prologue, uh, GTA 5. But I don't know if GTA 5 is finished downloading. I have to jump into that. So that's Steam, guys. Uh, I've also noticed that the Steam Deck is now available, the 64 gig, uh, the 256 gigabytes, and the 512 gigabyte versions. You see, they're all available now, uh, the three versions of Steam Deck. So, okay, so basically, if you're going to ask me, like, so what's happened with the Steam Decks? Well, nothing has happened with the Steam Decks. It's, it's just like, um, it's just like I got this new... Uh, got this new uh, thing. Um, sorry, got this new um, laptop thing. Uh, this I don't know. Why I keep saying that. I, I got this new, this new. Um, well, it's a it's a it's the um, Asus ZenBook. It's a ZenBook Duo. I uh, haven't yet tested it out on games as such, but I did test it on um, War Robots, and War Robots works actually very well. But I mean. Anything would, would run War Robots, right? So these are all the games I'm trying to install um, right now. Uh, I won't test PUBG, obviously, because <laughs> I, I don't think PUBG would work. <laughs> you see, it does say to stream. It's saying to stream. You see, it does say GeoTrans. That's my Windows Steam Deck. The other Steam Deck one, that one is the Steam uh, OS Steam Deck. I'm going to say this PC. I'm going to download Ravenfield. I don't know if Ravenfield will work. But uh, I just want to see. I want to find out if that's going to do me any wonders. Uh, so, yes. So, GTA 5 was on the list. Bro Force, Gene Shift Auto, Expanded Bros, Dead Island, Retro Revenge, uh, Dead Island uh, Definitive Edition, Dead Island uh, Riptide Definitive Edition, Fury Unleashed, uh, Cyberpunk, War Robots, um, Midnight Ghost Hunt, uh, last year, that's like uh, Dead by Daylight. It's the same thing. Uh, you have to find a way out of uh, where you are and escape from the person chasing you. So that's last year. It's a free-to-play game. It's very good. I've played that on my Steam Deck. Uh, Lum Lumen Craft. Uh, this is Farlight 84. Uh, Gatekeeper Eclipse. Grand en en em Empire Emprise. Time Travel Survival. I just want to test if that works. Combat Master, Mega City Police Prologue, Ravenfield. I think it's it's taken out the others. The, it's done some other ones because I've um I'm sure if I go in the library to show the other ones. I'm just looking for the ones I didn't mention. Cloud Punk, Fury Unleashed. I think I've said those. Uh GTA 5. So that's Amajet. Right. So let me just jump into my library. If it takes me to the library thing, so that's recent games. I'm just going to look at the games that it's got. Uh, so this this is actually showing my library, right? But I don't have those games installed. Uh, I think it's just showing what I've got in my library. So those would be on the Steam Deck. Uh, yeah, I've got Watch Dogs. Uh, MUA, that's um, a new Battle Royale game that's free to play on um, 
well on Steam. This this game here, this one. That's a free to play game. If you've not heard of it, I'll probably do a um if I play this game, I'll, I'll probably if I stream it, I'll be streaming from the Steam Deck, but I do want to actually play games off my Steam Deck actually. Uh Watch Dogs. I I only put the first Watch Dogs. I don't think the second one and third one will work on Intel, so uh i'm just thinking just the first watchdogs i think that will work because the the first watchdogs i ever played i played this using my microsoft surface pro uh you know if you remember the pro the tablets the the tablets the one with the intel hd i don't know what it was uh intel hd no intel 5 uh with the hd graphics the 4400 hd graphics so if you remember way back then this is a long time ago I played Watch Dogs a long time ago, so that's before I got my Alienware laptop. Um, I had Alienware laptop. I, I, I probably played this on Alienware, but I played this definitely on the Surface Pro, when the, when the Pros were still coming out. So I'm just saying those kind of games. So the, why I chose to choose, choose these type of games? I think these are the games that work well on Intel. Okay, so that's, watch, that's the first Watch Dogs. I do have all three guys. I've got Watch Dogs 2 and Legion. But if I do go to my Steam Deck, uh, they will show. So I've got all three Watch Dogs. Um, MUA, like I said, is a new Battle Royale game. If you haven't heard of this, it is available on Steam to free to play. I'll probably do a video on that. Uh, Cursed, there's, this is Serial Cleaners. Uh, Waves of Death, Asphalt 9, Redout. Redout is, um, I don't know if, if I can show you. You see, it's that kind of game, just a flying type of game. Uh, my friendly, my friendly neighborhood demo, Ang anger foot demo, Arctic. Uh, I think that's like a demo. Battle bit remastered. I do want to test this because it did. When I looked at this last time, it said uh, it would work on Intel graphics. I do not know if it will, but uh, because this one, the reason why I've got high hopes for this, uh, for this games to work, is because on this, uh, on this duo on the zen book it actually has an i5 i7 and the i7 that this is using can turbo boost to five gigahertz it's a quad core it's got eight threads but it does go up to five gigahertz so you know i'm just thinking that's like a whole lot of power you know especially for gaming you know what i'm doing now right i'm trying to wake up my steam deck i think it's falling asleep Ah, uh, come on, man. What's up with this thing? I don't know if it's falling asleep. Yeah, it, it, it had fallen asleep. I, I've, set, I've set up my Steam Deck for games. So, Game yeah, you see, you heard that Geotrans. That's my Steam Deck. So, yeah, I'm just making sure everything is working. Everything is fine. Right, let me jump in and I'll start War Robots. So, I'm going to play War Robots for my Steam Deck. I'm just going to wait for that to load up. Uh, if, if you're wondering, where's the Steam Deck? Well, because I'm talking about the Duo, that's why the Duo is, is the one I'm showing. But if you want to see my Steam Deck, it's right here. And there's War Robots. And on the system, that's what I'm doing. So I'm overclocking Steam Deck by 35 watts. I'm using a AOC gaming monitor. That's the one. It's plugged into the, um, to the hub. And then the hub is the one plugged into the Steam Deck. Um, I'm using a the clocks thing. That's the that's the one that tells me the temperatures for the Steam Deck and what gigahertz it's going up to. That thing for the sound, something for resolution. The top one is DS4 for Windows. I uh, I haven't plugged in the controller yet, so it's not going to show. Uh, it's the one closest to the way you can see the 10 10. 400 4000 to 35 watts the one above that that's the ds4 windows it's like dsx i did say this last time so that's all connected that's a nintendo OLED, obviously that's not connected right now and that's the hub behind this is the steam deck the other steam deck is the one that one is on steam operating system so obviously that's the part i'm gonna use the white one so it's not connected so that's the Steam Deck. This is the Duo. This is what I'm talking about, guys. So, right. So how much did I pay for this? That's that's the interesting thing. I only paid £700 for this. Now, you're going to wonder why was it cheap? Well, I don't know. 
but the owner of this didn't want it anymore uh obviously it, it doesn't have any graphics card in it uh, i think he just wanted to sell it so the other games i've got is serial cleaners uh zombie survivors uh smoke and sacrifice uh ravenfield uh, i don't know what this one is i think this is called shadow bringer that's another it's another game like dead by daylight it's free to play as well i think it's about ghosts you go around chasing the 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 people the other players I haven't played it, so if I say I've played it, I wouldn't be telling you guys the truth. I haven't, I've not played uh, Shadowbringer yet. So if you're wondering what Shadowbringer is, this one. I haven't played it, but I think it's it's similar to last, last year. Uh, it's similar to Dead by Daylight. It's just, you go around chasing people. Well, it's part of the game, isn't it? It's, it's like um, Dead by Daylight. It's like last year. I haven't played it. I do not know much about Shadowbringer, but I know it's a free-to-play game, and that's exactly what you do in the game. You chase people around, uh, and the other the people you're chasing have to get out of wherever they are. So I've not played it. I don't know if it's good or not. Uh, I know it's free to play. It's available on Steam right now. Uh, other game I got Amajet. Uh, this is American Fugitive. Uh, the other one I've got is this Nuclear. I don't know. I've not played this yet. It's called Nuclear Option. It's a playtest, basically. I haven't played it yet. Uh, 1v1 uh, versus, that's another zombie type game. Uh, then this one, SAS, that's a zombie game. Uh, Empty Shell, Pro, I have not played that. Uh, War Robots uh, Front, I haven't played it yet. Uh, what's the other ones? I'll uh, just look. Okay, Bro Force is the other one. I'm sure I've, I've downloaded, well, not yet downloaded it. Uh, Call of Duty, I'm not going to test that. <laughs> I, I don't think it'll work. <laughs> you know, I mean, if if I connected this with the with the GPD G1, the one that's got Thunderbolt, obviously that's got 8 gig. That's uh, got an RX, um, I think it's a 7500M mobile graphics card in it. So that's the main reason why I bought this. So that's Call of Duty, but that one is on my Steam Deck, on the Windows Steam Deck. Uh, Cloud Punk, Combat Master, what else did I put there? Well, I haven't put most of these. You know, you know. I think at the time, I was like rushing to put games onto this uh, uh, laptop. So I wasn't really looking at the games completely, but I, that's last year there. Um, so what I'm going to do basically is I will go back onto this. I'd see what what I need, what I can add. You know, you know. At the moment, like I said, at the moment, I'm just downloading games. So those are the games. So that's GTA Five that's going through. Uh, at the moment, listen. I, I don't want to stress this out. I don't want to put too much stuff onto this and then say like, oh, you know, it's it's gonna play the games. I don't like doing that. Um, I've got Steam Deck, so if I needed to test something, I would do that. This is odd. It says it failed to clone it, but look, it's exactly the same as this one. That's the drive I'm trying to clone. Um, okay, so let's go to desktop. If I can find where desktop is. I just want to see the games that I've got installed. Right, need to change the view. So how do I find uh, using this um, uh, this laptop? You know what? To be honest, I do like this laptop. I think it's dope. Like I said, you can actually put three apps. They call them apps. Uh, you can put three programs down here. You see where I've got the cursor? I can put three. I can put one here, one app, another app, another app. I can put, on this side, I can put Spotify to play my music. On this side, I can have the, um, the store open so I could be downloading apps or checking my apps or just browsing some apps while the music's playing and on this section i can have a web browser so i can actually be browsing checking out the store and listening to music all at the same time with controlling them all from this dual screen and then the top one is the main one and i can still have two browsers open at the top here or playing a game imagine even though it doesn't have a graphics card in it it's got a um, igpu which is obviously the and this is a touch screen both are touch screens the top Touch screen, bottom is a touch screen. But I'm just saying the basic fact that you can have three apps open and you can be using them. Or if you're someone who 
does that uh, Discord thing and you're playing War Robots there and you got Discord. You can actually be playing your game while you're chatting with people. Because you've got a keyboard. Keyboard's right here. This touchpad thing. And I've seen some people, uh, I've seen some videos where they put the, the number thing on the pad. I don't know how they do it, but they can put numbers on this pad. I mean, I don't want to do that, but I'm just saying it's possible. It's got backlit keyboards, got all the function keys. Um, everything it's it's a small keyboard but it's all right zenbook um it's this the this uh dual screen is actually flipped up so it's tilted upwards um at the moment there's nothing for me to say because like like i said i'm still in the process i'm still in the process of downloading games so obviously i mean i wish i could have said oh you know you can do this and that but I'm, I'm not one person to talk about things, especially if I haven't done much with it. You understand? Like, like I said, I only got this yesterday. So I'm still in the process of checking it out, seeing what this can actually do. But, you know, now that I've kind of reminded myself, I do have Spotify. <laughs> so I'm thinking I could, I, could at least, um, I could at least use Spotify, right? So that's what I'm thinking now. I'm, I'm thinking like I could have had music playing, but I don't know with YouTube, what they do with YouTube. You know, they don't like you using people's music and all that. But the basic thing is, you see, like, like the, I've, that's um, Edge, I think that's Chrome. Or is it the other way around? I think that's Edge, that's Chrome. So that's what I'm saying. You could be watching your videos on different channels if you've got two channels. Uh, I don't know if this store thing is working now. Because it needed an update. Like I said, I was trying to clone my drive because it's giving me some issues uh, with with the drive thing. And yeah, let me get Spotify actually. If I can get Spotify. Where is that? Oh, the Apple Music. I, I don't want that iTunes. That's going to really mess up my thing. Oh, what the hell? It said claim. I don't want this thing. It keeps telling me to claim for this. I can't get that. Error encountered one of the update servers not running properly. Okay, okay. You know, you know what I did, right? I kind of I stopped the um, I stopped the updates. So I think you go into this services thing. I'll just show you. I think this is why it's doing that. I think this is the reason. You have to go to Windows updates. Uh, let me just check if I can find it, because I know it's right at the bottom. I need Windows updates, Windows updates. It's a U. Ah, they found it. So that's the one, right? Click, just click on it. You see? Wow, this is weird. Because I had stopped this. Right? It does say manual. Okay, so I don't know. Right, let me, let me check on this again and see if it's going to let me why would it do that so why is it refusing for me to download them i mean if it's working because listen i had i had paused it all it says is it's uh well anyway guys let's let's jump into the updates it's saying you don't have apps installed yet how is that possible if it's if, if it's showing it says included with device okay included with device okay this is the xbox thing Claim Ultimate Game Pass Ultimate one month subscription and this offer expires on 9 8 2024. Yeah, but that's expired already. Then the 9 8 thing. So, how do I claim this? You see, it's, it's gonna want me to sign in and all this stuff and whatever. Ah, man. Um, anyway, um, I don't know what's up with that thing. I don't know why it's why is it doing this i want to close this thing out this is a problem ah damn it okay i need to close the store you know you know what i know normally do just go to your task manager and task manager just close this thing no i i don't know what it's doing it's it's like it's not letting me um close the the part you know that's xbox thing of course, yeah, I mean, I can do Ultimate. That's not a problem. With this kind of uh, laptop, I think Ultimate would be good. Uh, the main reason for that is uh, this, I mean, dual monitors. Imagine I could be watching people play Starfield, right? 
and then obviously someone like me who's never played starfield would be like yeah so you know i could be doing my videos my little videos it's saying it's free yeah but then it says i have it you see that was weird right and then it lets me open it should let me open it, it says log in oh come on <laughs> you know sign up for free no you know what i i actually i actually have i have an account on spotify but it's it's just it's it's just gonna give me ah man pity okay that that's spotify i have an account with spotify but i'm realizing now that i might need facebook i need to install facebook on the on my system no it's it's facebook that's how i signed into facebook uh, i mean into spotify in the first place so it's definitely gonna need me to have uh this uh facebook installed you know i mean that was weird it wouldn't let me do anything and then now it's letting me do stuff uh let me do this one but what what, what i'm saying is uh basically i i do like this uh laptop uh because i can get instagram what else i think tiktok was added to this you know uh oh yahoo mail yeah definitely need yahoo mail reddit i use reddit a lot and discord that's nice uh, i never i've never used wechat what's this thing it says spark ar studio i've never used that messenger for windows you know i've heard of that but i never used it um i was looking for something else i was looking for this thing called social you know the the other one for facebook but i think okay let me jump into this is it gonna take me because usually it it shows uh other apps that are associated with this uh but it's not showing me anything right now oh yeah wait is this facebook friend book light i've never heard of this no i need facebook uh that's a pity right let me just cancel that uh let me write in social right so the other things you could do uh with this uh laptop that i've noticed okay this is probably just because sorry i'm looking for the mouse this is probably because um of the dual screen that it's got um i want to show you something that's quite interesting you know what i'm gonna deal with this later because it's just gonna mess up what i'm doing i'm gonna i i thought i disabled this now i'm gonna tell you why i disabled this because every time it updates every time this is happening every time every time it updates my my uh, zen book it messes up my mouse like let me show you this mouse will be going like that uh, have you ever have you ever seen have you ever updated your laptop and then suddenly you you open the lid right of your laptop if you if you closed it for a few seconds or let's say it updated it restarts your computer so instead of the mouse just staying still like this, the mouse starts to move by itself. And then, you know what? You know the problem with this? Because when you start playing games, that happens in the game. It starts moving. <laughs> and I was like, I was like, why is this going on with this laptop? What's happening? What did I do? I mean, I know for certain that I, my, this, this is like, to me, it's like a brand new laptop. I know I, I paid little money for it, but it's not the money that counts. It's the condition of the laptop, right? So this, I, I paid quite a good amount of money. And I was expecting it to work the way I paid for it, right? So I, I, I was thinking, why is it straight after the update? So this is what was happening, guys. The mouse would start moving. So if I update this now, I've already updated it. But the, it will definitely want me to update again, right? It will start doing this. And I, I was looking everywhere on the internet. How to fix this? Nobody has a fix for it. And then um, I think it's uh, you need to go to your uh, device manager. It's something to do with your drivers, yada, yada, you know, all that stuff. Uh, so let's say, for example, I go to control panel. Uh, that should open up at the bottom. Did it not register? Okay, I'm clicked on it. So there you go. It's a bit bright, isn't it? So basically... I didn't know what was going on. I uh, just put the brightness down for the screen. Oh yeah, the other thing I wanted to show you guys. Let me show you this quite quickly. Uh, if I click here, check this out. <laughs> so you see, 
<laughs> so it's got it's got the top part right it's showing me the top look at the bottom <laughs> was wicked man that was so cool i really like that yeah imagine you're doing your work like this i mean that looks really cool right so you got your backlit keyboard you got your little mouse you got your fn keys you got your number number keys as well and you got that monitor you got this monitor right there right so you got this monitor and you've got this monitor <laughs> i thought i thought that, that was so cool I'm just saying, I, I've never seen that before. Right, um, so basically, uh, let me put this down a bit more. And, uh, yeah, I, I think it's a bit too bright. Uh, this is asking me to log into Spotify. I'll do that later, you know. Right, these are my videos, so it's not a problem. Those are my videos that I made beforehand. Uh, I wonder if this is too big or is... I think I can shrink. I should be able to shrink this down. But basically, what this is showing you guys is that you can run three apps. They call them apps. I call them programs, but this does call them apps. And you can run uh, three of these at the bottom of the screen while, while do, doing something totally different on the top screen. So it's possible you can do that. Right, I'm going to go for device manager. That should pop up up there and you see that this is the cool thing you can have the your control panel down here because I, I did bring it down yeah so it's just remembered how i had it so you've got your your control panel down here and your device manager up here i mean that's so cool right i mean i i just like that feature and you can also change the the bottom screen like wallpaper so that's the intel uh iris xc graphics so I know that's not like hyper right now, you know. I mean, in this day and age with uh, with especially with the Steam Decks. So that's October. No, that's August 23, 2023. The older driver, if I browse my computer, the older driver is uh, 15 July 2022, and that's the new driver. So that is fine right now. There's no issue on that part. I mean, it's, like I said, it's not going to give you um, something extraordinary. But, I mean, in comparison to a lot of laptops, to a lot of laptops, this is actually graded as good. So, this is a quad core. It's got eight threads. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So, it's the Intel um, 11th Gen Intel Core uh, i7 1195 G7 uh, at 2.9 gigahertz, but this does turbo boost to 5 gigahertz. You see, so this will turbo boost to 5 gigahertz. Uh, the problem I was having, listen, after I updated it, um, the first time when you update this, you don't have an issue, but the second time you update this, it will mess up my mouse. So here it's showing three mouses. I don't know why it's doing that. So I don't know what this is. So on 12 um, C hit device, right? So this is working properly, no problem. I think it added a mouse. The last time when I checked on this, it didn't say anything. Look at this. Oh, okay. I I I I know I know what this is. I know what this is. <laughs> I know what this is now. No, it's it's. Uh, I understand now. I understand what's going on now. I didn't understand before. Um, wait, if, if I, let me jump back into my device manager and then I'll show you guys, uh, what, why, um, wait, no, I think devices and printers, uh, let's see, view more devices. Uh, yeah, I do name everything like that. So gay duo, <laughs> my sis, uh, 3.0. Okay, so those are just external things. Yeah, let's see. Like, like I said, I haven't gone through everything. I haven't gone through all of this stuff. But this is other interesting thing. If you go to display, right? Look at that. It says one and two. <laughs> Extend these displays. So it's it's recognizing the second display as um, like a second monitor. <laughs> I thought that was so weird. And uh, the other thing I do like about this 
is this. Check this out, the hertz. So it's got 60 hertz and it's got 48.04 uh, hertz. So unfortunately, this doesn't go below this. But uh, I thought this was quite interesting because uh, the 48 hertz is like 50, isn't it? But it's under 50. So that means uh, when I'm playing games, I'm going to try to use the resolution for the Steam Deck on this laptop, which will be 1280 by 800. But the one I do like using is normally, uh, I like to use the, um, I like to use the, the 1280 by, I'll show you actually, let's, let's jump into this thing. I mean, look at that. It's, it's, it's not, it's not great, right? I'm, this is not to show you that, like to compare this to Steam Deck. I'm not doing that. All I'm saying here is check this out. Right, so if I wanted to have better gaming on this, I would need to reduce this to... If I was doing cloud gaming, I would leave it on 1920 uh, by 1080 because it's not downloading games, yes? I just want to show you what I use. I would use this one here. Uh, the 1280 by 720. That's the one I use when I'm doing gaming. Uh, why do I use the 720? Because to me... Intel, it's not great. It's not the, the best. But, I mean, it's not the worst either. It's not going to be the worst, guys. It's I'm just saying that this does not have a graphics card in it or anything like that. I don't know. This, this is very different from the other one that I had. Wait, let me, let me jump into this. Right. Uh, I need to go to Intel. I mean, I need to type in Intel. What, I, what I'm looking for is the command center. It says it's installed. Because normally, normally this should have appeared. I mean, uh, what I'm saying is this, um, this thing here should have come out. Right, so it says open. So that's the Intel thingy, uh, command center thing. Uh, this is not gonna be anything impressive, guys. It's gonna be like low, uh, low graded because this is not gonna do much. I'm just saying it's not gonna do much. So there you see Intel and then bottom. It's just the second display thing. This, this in here, you can't do anything. You can't change anything. I'm just saying it. You, you cannot change anything in here. This is just for you to look at and to say, aha, uh -huh, you know? So there you go. Uh, Intel I Iris XC graphics. Uh, it's, it's got the 12 uh, DirectX 12 shader version uh, 5.1. OpenCL runtime version 3.0. Vulkan. Uh, right. And then... And then when it comes here, it says um, uh, processor CPU 11th gen i7-1195 G7 uh, at 2.9 gigahertz. Uh, system memory 15.9. I think that's 16 gigs. It's got this Optane thing in there. I don't know if Optane does anything. Uh, power, then battery, 70 watt uh, hours battery. Power efficiency, all that stuff. So basically, like like I said, you can't do much in this, unfortunately. Uh, it's it's not going to let you do a lot. It's quite limited, basically. You you can't do lots with that. I'm looking for the other command center thing. Uh, I think the only one I can get in here would be, okay, this is saying obtain memory storage. I'm just gonna download this. Because the laptop does use this kind of, um, it it uses this kind of function. It's got the opt-in, it's got the opt-in uh, function on it. I don't know if that's important or not. I'm just saying. Um, so I'm gonna look at this one and download the beta one. This one won't do anything. All this will do is allow you to add uh, your games to your Intel. Uh, you'll add games to Intel on this, but. Um, like like I said, you're not going to do much, yeah? So, I mean, you, you'd wish you could do more in here, but you can't do much. 
Right. So the reason why I say that is that that Intel thing should have popped up somewhere around here. I'm just looking to see what I could do. Uh, let's let's go back in. Uh, so it's saying personalize. Yada yada. I want to see this one. Large icon. I'm gonna say small icons. I don't know if the small icons look good. You normally, guys. Normally, I would turn the icons off. So I, I know what you're thinking, but yeah, I would, I would, I would normally turn them off. I would normally turn them off. It's it's just it's just uh, for show. So what I'm doing in here is I'm just showing you guys uh, like what I've been doing. Um, so with this, have I played games? Yes, I played War Robots. But uh, to my disappointment, like I said, um, I had updated the the laptop quite quite uh, much. Like, I mean, anyone would update this, right? Because that's what you'd be looking for, right? So I updated this quite a lot, but I didn't get the end results of what I wanted. So because I didn't get the end result of what I wanted from the laptop, I ended up like having to, and I mean, this, was, this wasn't the best of best worlds, guys. But what I ended up doing with this laptop is I had to uh, go back to a restore point and remove everything, remove everything from the drive just to get it uh, back to where I wanted it to. Because, uh, I mean, the, the reason why I had to use a restore point is I needed to get it. Um, sorry, I'm just trying to go into the Starfield. So this is Starfield. I think it's uh, got early access that's available now, guys. You guys can download or something. I don't know. It's called early access something. I think this is uh, strictly for people who have paid for it or something. So, yeah, I mean, I would love to get this game. I mean, but one thing I want to know is, is the multiplayer? Because it doesn't say so here. See, it doesn't tell you. Um, I don't know if this is going to be, like, compatible with Steam Deck. I mean, I've seen people playing this. So, let's get the volume up. Come on. And I'll try and increase the volume as well on the laptop. Or oh, should I increase the brightness? We're all here. Be so um, I'm just gonna play the video and see how this goes. Humanity has always hunted for knowledge in the unknown. The wonder is not that the field of stars is so vast but that we have measured it. Us to unravel. 
human settlements throughout the galaxy could be at risk. So September 6th is like next week, yeah? Uh, next week, Wednesday, I'm pretty sure. Right, guys? So basically, um, this is not the only game that's coming out. Uh, there's uh, Ark Raiders. There's uh, Ark Raiders as, as well. It's another space game. But that's actually free to play. I don't know if you guys... If you follow, if you follow my channel, then basically you will definitely see Ark Raiders... Uh, I've seen some people playing this on Steam Deck. I've not played it yet. Uh, it says pre-purchased Starfield is sixty dollars. Uh, pre-purchased Starfield Digital Premium Edition does say eighty-six dollars, and I don't know. It says Starfield Official Soundtrack, add all DLC. So that's going to be like um, nine dollars, and then basically it's just got a bit. It's got this. There's Discord. I'm pretty sure. Right, so basically it's just showing uh, the things that are available. And it's... I mean, this, this does look dope, guys, doesn't it? And I've seen people playing this. Right, guys, I'll play all the uh, trailers, but I just wanted to talk about uh, what I've seen people talking about in the game. They said uh, you'll be able to customize your your spacecraft. Uh, you'll be able to customize how your character looks. Uh, I think at the beginning of the game, it started off as they were going down to mine, and then they find something, and then you're sent off by yourself. And then I think at some point, they are, you're flying in a ship, and then at another point, you're fighting with these, um, what they call these pirates, uh, space pilot, uh, pirates. And then I think the, that's like the beginning of the game. But I think in the mine itself, it does actually show you what you're mining. And when you touch what you're mining, it actually starts off the game from that point. So it's like an introduction to the game. Uh, it does remind me of No Man's Sky, uh, only because you're traveling from different planets and stuff like that. Uh, it says AMD Radeon RX uh, 5700, uh, NVIDIA GeForce 1070 uh, Ti. says uh, recommended is uh, uh, RX 6800 XT, NVIDIA GeForce RTX uh, 2080. So, like I was saying, the main reason why I got this laptop, right, um, is because I want to get the, the G1 uh, for the GPD, which supports the 7500 uh, M. So that's, look, I mean, look at this one. If they're telling you right now on this game, Starfield, they're actually saying the RX 5700, and then you get the mobile, the, the 7500, that's like uh, two generations better, you know? And uh, the G1 actually supports 8 gig of GD, I think it's um, G, uh, GDDR6. Um, you know what? I don't know. Okay. I think I put one of my, if I drag, oh, come on. I'm trying to, I don't know if I'm clicking this correctly. Some, sometimes, okay, there you go. You see, look, look what I'm doing, guys. So I'm dragging one of my browsers to the top, and there you go. And I'm going to enlarge in this one. Look where the other browser is. And then in here, okay, fine. I know you guys are just watching my videos. Let's jump out of that for a second. I'm going to type in here, uh, GPD, uh, G1. 
the the main reason why i'm interested in this g1 thing i mean this g1 is because um i my this laptop the zenbook actually has two uh thunderbolt four ports you see so there you go so and this is actually compatible with um it's actually compatible with uh, sorry let me just put the brightness down a bit it's actually compatible with the up and coming gbd uh win mini so if you're getting a win mini you can definitely use the g1 with the win mini it says uh radeon amg radeon rx 7600 xt mobile graphics 8 gig um of gddr6 uh rd and a3 architect aculink usb4 and thunderbolt 4 so like like i said that's the main reason why i was interested in this laptop it's because this laptop does support usb4 uh it's got two usb4 ports but one of the ports one of the th um one of one of the usb4 ports is a thunderbolt 4 port for so that's why i'm saying the laptop itself supports these two the usb4 and the thunderbolt 4 so obviously once i buy this uh, g1 then you know i mean i'm good to go you understand what i mean so that is why i was saying i do i i i i i didn't i didn't really research the laptop as much check this out guys so i'm you see look what i'm doing so i'm using the mouse and i'm dragging this from the top screen and dragging it to the bottom and it's actually gonna ask me if you see so it, it already knows where i want to know <laughs> what's going on so it wants me to choose well anyway it wanted me to choose but there, it was in the middle, right? Like I said, this actually supports um, three apps at the bottom. I was trying to get Spotify to work, but Spotify wants me to log in, uh, which I can't do right now because obviously I'm I'm doing this. Uh, I'm showing you guys the laptop and I'm showing you games, Starfield. Uh, let me do another video, guys.